Welcome to Time to Cook. Today I'm going to make for you a super easy one pan meal. But before we get started, I would just like to thank you for watching my new YouTube channel. I am so excited to be able to share with you the recipes and the tips and the skills that I use in my kitchen so that it might help you in yours. So please hit that subscribe button and show me that you like my, my videos because I will be uploading new ones each week. So I'm going to go over with you the ingredients. Okay, these are the ingredients that we're going to use for our one pan dinner. We have a small head of broccoli that I've cut up in chunks and about a cup of cauliflower that I've cut up and probably about a half a cup to maybe a cup of the baby carrots that I've just cut in half. And I have a small red onion that I've just cut in a large dice. And there are three golden potatoes that I have just cut into large, a large dice. And then I'm going to use the juice of about half of this lemon. Okay. Okay, I also have two boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I have cut into big chunks and then about a half of a pound of the Italian sausage that I have just taken and rolled and made little little tiny balls. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're going to just combine all these vegetables. Just gonna to toss them into a bowl. And then we're going to add our, some seasoning to them. And like I said, this is super easy and it's very, very quick. And it's healthy because you've got these vegetables. So I'm going to grab a spoon and I am going to take and drizzle some olive oil over my veg. And that's probably, I don't know, I'm guessing that's probably maybe three tablespoons. I just want to make sure that this is mixed very well. And then I'm going to kind of cheat and I'm going to use an Italian dressing a uh, packet and sprinkle this over the veg. I'm going to sprinkle probably about three-fourths of it and then leave the rest for the meat. All right, so that's probably good for that. I think it needs a little bit more oil. So I'm just going to continue to toss. Now, I do want to go ahead and add some um, salt to this as well, so just about a pinch of salt. There is salt in that seasoning packet, but your veggies need a good amount of salt. And then I also have some dried basil and oregano that I'm just going to sprinkle in, but again, I'm going to save a little bit of that for the meat. Now, I'm going to take my... Um, my lemon and I'm just gonna squeeze the juice and I'm gonna try to catch these seeds so that I don't get seeds in there but I'm gonna squeeze the juice and this will just brighten it all up it gives it a good flavor and this is a half of half of a lemon and that should do it that should be good all right all right so then give it another really good toss All right, so now I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to get, well, I just put my lemon in there, but now I'm gonna to have to scrape my seeds out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my sausage that I had just cut in balls. Not cut, I rolled them in balls. And then my um, diced up boneless skinless chicken breast. And then I'm going to sprinkle the rest of the seasoning on here. There's still back on the vegetables and I'm going to toss this in a little bit of olive oil as well and then I'm going to give this a toss to get all this the meat nice and coated and sprinkle the rest of my basil and oregano and then so just so they get good and seasoned Oh, I don't want to put my hand in that salt because my hand was touching the meat. See how what happens? 
You have to think about these things. All right, so then I'm gonna combine this and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, as you can see here, I have a pan that I have covered with aluminum foil and I went ahead and sprayed that. So now I'm just gonna take my veg and I'm just going to put that and spread that out onto my, my baking tray. And then I'm gonna take my meat and I'm just going to just spread it around all over as well. And this is very healthy because it does have a lot of vegetables and you, you, you can use whatever vegetables you want. I mean, this, that's the thing that's really nice about these one pan meals is you have so many options of just different meats, whether it's sausage or chicken, fish, salmon is really good. Um, you can do different vegetables, maybe it's peppers and onions. Uh, it's, just, it's just up to you what you really like. So I'm gonna sprinkle this on and then I'll put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna take it out and toss it. But I will show you. So I'm just gonna to continue to drop these pieces of meat all around. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Um, so I'm going to take this out of the oven and I'm gonna stir it around show you. Well, it's actually pretty close to being done. But I'm just going to give it a toss. Just want to toss all of it. And then we're going to put it back in the oven for probably another like 15 minutes. But your veg just gets so good whenever it's roasted like this. It just gives it a good, um, just a roasted flavor. So some of the, you can see that some of the meat is already getting that caramelization. So it's just, it's just delicious. All right. So now I'm going to put this back in the oven. Okay. I have pulled it out and it's, it's cooked for a total of about 35 to 40 minutes. You're just gonna have to keep an eye on it and take it out halfway to um, toss it. But I'm going to just add this to a bowl. And there's some dark places, but don't be scared. Those just add flavor. Um, I love the, the flavor of um, veggies and, and the meat that's got that nice uh, caramelization on it. So I'm just gonna add it to a bowl. And remember too, this is loaded with vegetables and it's got your uh, broccoli and cauliflower, carrots, um, onion, and potato. And if you wanted to just increase your uh, cauliflower and broccoli and, and omit the potato, that would be uh, less carbs and it would be um, more keto friendly, I guess you could say. Um, you could do however you wanted. Now I, whoops, one got away from me. Now I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a block of Parmesan and I'm going to just sprinkle some Parmesan all over this. It's got that Italian seasoning. And I don't know if you're like me when you're in the Italian restaurant and they come out with the Parmesan and they say, tell me when. I'm <laughs> like, um, Okay, uh, I always want to go longer than what I feel like that I should or something, but so this is completely up to you, but I just really like the added extra flavor of a freshly grated Parmesan right over top. So, there is that. So I'm actually going to get a little bit of this out. I'm going to try it, see how well I did. I've got some, oh, let me get a, um, cauliflower so I can kind of get a little bit of everything. Well, I'm not going to get everything, but the broccoli and carrot. Oh my, that is so good. And I can taste the lemon. So this is delicious. And I just really hope that you enjoy it. If you feel like that you still need something um, a little bit more substantial, 
You can absolutely add some brown rice or some quinoa just to go alongside with it. But thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. And again, please hit that subscribe button. I will be uploading new videos each week. Thank you and have a great day.